Hi everyone. Um, in um, BibleHub.com uh, regarding the uh, Galatians six seven about God not being mocked, and um, I'm going to read this one because it's short and to the point uh, regarding the meaning of that piece of scripture, and it's Gill's exposition of the entire Bible. Do not be deceived by, by false teachers who in order to engross all to themselves dissuade the Galatians from communicating to their honourable pastors and faithful ministers of the word or by themselves who being of a tenacious and covetous disposition devise various things to excuse them from performing this their duty to the preachers of the gospel as that they had families of their own to maintain, that their circumstances were such that they could give little or nothing this way, and the others, who were of better abilities of life, ought to bear this charge, and with such like things endeavoured to satisfy their consciences in the neglect of their duty, but this was all self-deception. For God is not mocked, nor will he be. Men may deceive themselves and others, with such excuses and false appearances, yet they cannot deceive God who knows their hearts as well as their worldly substance. <clears throat> Excuse me, and this and that the omission of their duty arises not from want of ability but from covetous from a covetous temper, and who looks upon withholding from his ministers that which is due unto them as mocking of him, and which he will not suffer with impunity. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. As to kind, quality, and quantity, generally speaking, if he sows wheat, he reaps wheat. If he sows barley, he reaps barley. No man can expect to reap another sort than what he sows. And if it's good seed, he may hope for good crop. And if he sows bountifully, he shall reap bountifully. But if he sows sparingly, he shall reap sparingly. And if he sows nothing, he can never reap anything. This is the proverbial expression, and may be applied to all actions, good and bad, and the reward of punishment of them, and particularly to acts of benefice, benefice, beneficious, beneficence. I should know how to say that. And particularly the acts of beneficence and the end, Enjoying of the fruits thereof. Anyway, there are a lot of um, uh, sections in here that are really good. Um, quite long. Some are quite long. Um, some are shorter than others. But the the comment is the same. That um, when people mention. Um, God is not mocked, be not deceived. People are not to deceive themselves um, because uh, you, you can't mock God, but um, God's definitely listening to your lies or your truth. Anyway, um, thanks for listening and God bless.